What's up family? How you guys doing today? I did here with Milky Tech and today we'll be unboxing the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240L V2 RGB. Let's get this done. Today we'll be unboxing this all-in-one liquid CPU cooler. The purpose of this cooler is an upgrade to your current stock CPU cooler which will help drive CPU temperatures down and hopefully increase performance. On the front we have a picture of the cooler. It supports RGB with ASUS, Gigabyte, ASRock, MSI. Let's go some of the features and specifications of the cooler. And if you guys enjoy this kind of content, subscribe. Some of the main features of this cooler is it has a newly designed dual chambered pump. It increases efficiency and increases performance. It has a larger surface area in the radiator. It has 25% more surface area, therefore more heat will be allowed to dissipate. Uh, it is RGB ready. It has a wired controller in here to control the RGB. It has brand new reinforced seals which will prevent leaks which is good you don't want water to be leaking all over your cpu components all that expensive gear and it shorts out that'll be a bad day and it has newly designed slick flow 120 millimeter fans it supports almost all intel and amd sockets like 266 2011 and the more popular ones and of course am4 for your ryzen cpus it runs very quietly the pump maxes out at 15 decibels and the fans max out at 27 decibels. That is very quiet performance. The max airflows on each of the fans are 26 CFMs. That is a lot of air to be pushed from the fans. And the maximum cooling this can do is 200 watts. So if you're overclocking and you're drawing a lot more power than 200 watts, you might want to be for your cooler. What I like about this cooler, it's sub $100 and it's an easy upgrade over a stock cooler. And you can still get liquid cooling performance. In this part, what I'll be doing is just a basic unboxing. And in the next part, I will show you guys how to install this on an AM4 CPU. And I'll be comparing the performance of the stock cooler on that 2700X to an older Corsair H70 that I have lying around. And hopefully it works and hopefully I have all the mounting gear for it or we're gonna have a lot of zip ties and i'll compare all their cooling performance to this guy and see if it's worth upgrading from a stock cooler or an older all-in-one cooler so let's open this guy up let's open this guy up we're greeted with some nice foam so let's start with the middle of the box. Let's take this out. We have warranty information in a plethora of languages. And we have here the instructions. Two desiccant, do not eat. They are not snacks. Our two RGB fans. Also, another thing what I'm gonna test is the performance of these fans versus static pressure fans, like the Corsair SB120s. Because these are more airflow fans, designed for silence. Let's see if we get more performance putting a different type of fan. Here we have all of our mounting gear. And ta -da -da, our cooler. All right, so here's our fans. Decently long cables and we have over here our RGB pin and we have our PWM 4 pin fan connector So I like that they have these rubber pads over here that will dampen vibration make the case a lot quieter Let's look at all these goodies that it comes with we have here. It looks like a I guess a combiner I guess we can call one of these where we'll take the three RGB connectors I'm assuming these two are from the fans and this is for the CPU pump and will connect into one header on your motherboard that will allow for you know a lot of nice cleaner cable management over here we have a another one of those combiners where we're combining our two four pin fans to a single one and that will connect directly into your CPU fan header so we have their thermal compound over here, their Master Gel Pro with some risers for LGA 2011. Fan screws. This looks like the AM4 mounting brackets. Over here this looks like the Intel mounting brackets. There are some more risers. Here's our remote control. And this is the Molex connector to power the remote control and our RGBs up. 
All right, now for our main star of the show it is the cooler itself. So this is a pretty thick radiator. Seems to be very, very densely packed. So I'm probably going to perform well, hopefully. Here's the pump and our block, which looks very flat. Make sure whenever you're installing, of course, and I'll go over it in our next video, to remove this plastic or you're going to have a nightmare. It will not cool and you'll probably lose your CPU. Here we have power for the cooler pump. And here is our RGB connector for the cooler itself. So far, this seems to be a very quality product, especially being a budget cooler at around 80 US dollars. It seems to be easy to install. We'll figure that out in our next video. Hopefully this will perform very, very well. Make sure to stay tuned for our next video where we install this guy in an AM4 system and we will test it. We're going to test the stock cooler's performance. We're going to test an older AIO, the H70 performance and compare it to the ML240 LV2. And also well, I would like to compare changing the fans. Hopefully, you know, we'll see a performance increase using a different fan. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe smash that like button. If you guys have a comment, question, suggestion, or want to say hello, drop it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.